They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, Web3 definitely scares me uh, because we still haven't really mastered Web2 yet. Uh, but it, it is the future, whether you like it or not. I think some aspects of it are going to be very, very successful. I think some aspects are going to definitely crash and burn. You know, it's just a free market we live in. So, But you said a lot of big words there. So blockchain. People might not know what actually the blockchain actually is. So like in layman's turn, explain to me like I'm four years old. What is the actual blockchain? So blockchain is also synonymous with distributed ledger technology. Mm-hmm. So what it does is it assigns protocols that allow transparency. It's for you to be able to track any sort of transaction that takes place. So here's an example. Rather than having to have a bank as an intermediary, I can just take, let's money, whether whatever form of currency it is, Mm -hmm. and automatically transact it with you. Right. Now, this is being deployed around the world to billions of people. Some hotspots are South America, Southeast Asia, Africa, where they don't have legacy financial institutions. So this is how they're building cross-border payment. This is how they are accruing sources of revenue using blockchain technology and whatever asset they are transacting business in. But this is the building block that allows that to happen. So when we think about what are the use cases, is this happening in real time? It already is working in real time. Um, Many of the listeners on this podcast, I would imagine, are into music. Well, think about using blockchain technology to acquire and sell tickets. Right. It's a safer way, more transparent way where you don't have to worry about, oh, did I get scammed? Is, you know, scalping is illegal, but it's a way to remove the middle man, middle person and transact business through this ledger technology. And it's like a complete unique digital code that at least for now can't be hacked or kind of disrupted. Well, I mean, can it be hacked? Can it be disrupted? Anything, anything, anything can be can. hacked. It's just as of insofar it hasn't. Right. So, well, I mean, there have been scams, of course, when when you right. think of Bitcoin and other mm-hmm. digital assets. NFTs as well. And yep. NFTs as well. But you can make the same argument with, with Real money. cash. Yeah, regular money. You can, you can make the same argument with um, fine art, right? Yep. Copies being made, fakes being made. Um, and you have to remember, too, as it relates specifically to digital assets, Bitcoin's only 13 years old. It's a very, very young asset class. So as it matures, um, as a regulatory framework is placed around it, the hope will be that you will see um, fewer scams. But it, it's not even just about financial assets. It's everywhere. I mean, anything can be hacked. Right. So I think... Because this industry is young and it understands that it's trying to be as proactive as it can be versus reacting to it. 